Thanks so much, Holly. Well, all this week, we have been trying to make ladies out there, our busy Miami Valley ladies, make your life a little bit easier. Well, today we have Lisa Woodruff from Organize 365. She's going to show you how to organize everything in this basket. This basket, guys, will change your life. Right. How does it do it, this magic basket, Lisa? So this Sunday basket is really everything that's normally on your kitchen counter and cluttering your mind and cluttering your life, and we're going to put it in one isolated area and deal with it once a week. All right. Why do you call it a Sunday basket? Is that the day that you kind of sift through everything? Yeah, this I started 10 years ago myself when I had two little babies and there was just stuff everywhere and I never had any time alone to myself. But Sunday night at 8 o'clock, my husband would go to bed, the kids would go to bed and I would have time to myself. And I would go through everything for the week and make my plan for the week. All right, great idea. So let's first tackle mail because that's the biggest thing that can get you so overwhelmed, especially when it starts to pile up during the week. So exactly. how do you, what do you do with it? So sometimes you can keep on top of your mail. I have a friend who just leaves it in her mailbox because it's easier to just take sure. it out okay. once a week. But often a lot of the stuff that's going to come in the mail, you either can just recycle right away or you don't need to deal with it yet. You don't right. need to open it. It'll wait until Sunday. Unless it's a bill or... If it's a bill, uh -huh. but usually bills come within enough time that you can pay them on Sunday. I pay right. our bills on Saturday. So I take all the mail all the coupons and everything that comes to read and I just put it in the Sunday basket. Okay, everything goes in the Sunday basket. Now, not only mail in the Sunday basket, what else can you organize in there? So you'll get a lot of flyers at home that need to go on your calendar mm -hmm. and I don't have a paper calendar anymore. I have a Google calendar. So I put that in the Sunday basket so I can put it all on my Google calendar. You have on a Sunday. Google calendar because you just got an iPhone. I have an iPhone. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you're busy and you're working, you have lots of files from work. Right. Another thing you can stash in your Sunday basket. Mm -hmm. Yep. A lot of my readers are working from home, mm -hmm. and so I teach them how to use slash pockets for different projects. Those are great. And then if you have a really big project, just put a bowl clip on it, and then all of these can be in the Sunday basket. There you go. And also, if you check out the labels, which also help to make things a little easier when you're organizing. And you mentioned juggling kids. Right. That can get crazy, too. But the kids' games can also go in the Sunday basket. Right, because we're going to sell these. We went through, we figured out these are going to be sold, mm -hmm. so I either need to list them on Craigslist or take them to GameStop, so they're going to go in the Sunday basket. Do your kids know you're giving these away? Yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't breaking news, right? No, not yet. <laughs> what else goes in there? So I got this from a friend, and I just finished listening to this book in my car. I need to return that to her. And I just found this CD that I need to return to another friend. So I'll put that into the Sunday basket. And the Sunday basket. Because on Sunday night, I make my to-do list for the week. So I'll make a list of all of the errands I need to run and put all those things in my front seat of my car and do that on Monday. Right. And we mentioned it doesn't necessarily have to be a basket. It can be a bin, right? It can be right? a bag, a bin, a section of your counter. But if it's portable, it's great because then you could take it to a library or take it to another room to go through it. Exactly. Great tips, Lisa. Where can we find you? Organize365.com. There you go. Now some